How to install event-driven Ansible in Red Hat Enterprise Linux? So, first of all, what is event-driven Ansible? So, event-driven is the newest uh, paradigm of Red Hat Ansible automation platform that allow you to execute uh, some uh, action based uh, on uh, some uh, events. So you can configure some source of events, activate some rule and execute some action. So let me show you in a nutshell. This page in the Red Hat uh, Ansible automation platform explain all the workflow and I really like uh, the small video and all the example that you can use in your everyday life. So imagine a source could be a webhook, could be, could be a Kafka queue, can be everything. You execute some rule of a rulebook and activate some action. Some action can be all an Ansible playbook, for example. So now that we understand what is event-driven Ansible and why it's so powerful, we can move forward in installing the event-driven Ansible controller. So this is part of the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform 2.4, that is the latest release of the Ansible uh, Automation Platform. So we need to jump in our customer profile I was already logged in inside my Red Hat account and uh, I need to download the installations packages. As we can see, there are different options. Okay, sure. Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform is available for RHEL 8 and 9. And as you can see, I can choose also the architecture. This is a new feature of the 2.4. For example, I'm in an ARM64 machine, so let me choose Arch64. I prefer to download the setup bundle that is a package is slightly bigger compared to the normal setup, as you can see, but it includes all the installation packages and all the execution environment that I need. So um, this download is going to take a while based on the performance of your network connection. Once it's done, we can move to the next step. Okay, so the package is successfully downloaded. We can move to our terminal and execute the installation. Uh, first of all, let me move to the download directory and as you can see, this is the full bundle of uh, AAP 2.4 for uh, ARM processor. You can use it in your own architecture, but this is the right one for the type of processor in my computer at the moment. I'm really excited about ARM because it's the first release that is successfully executed on ARM processor. So let me decompress standard, standard procedures. This is a tarball, so let me use a tar, zeta, x, v, f, and the file name. As you can see, there are RPMs inside all the related files, as well some uh, automation. So the installer, is created with Ansible. So this is a bunch of script that automate the installation of all the AAP. So which means to install in the Ansible controller, the Ansible automation hub, and the Ansible event-driven Ansible. There are also other, other products, but are not important for this setup. Uh, the performance actually vary based on on your system. Okay, so uh, everything is done, everything is downloaded, now I can move to the configuration of the setup. <clears throat> As I said, this is an Ansible setup, so let me also make uh, some, okay, uh, enter in the uh, directory, there is an inventory file, oh, let me make some housekeeping, so let me remove this file as I already downloaded. And okay, here we are. We have the inventory file and setup file. So basically, we need just to edit with any editor that you prefer. So for example, let me use VI to customize the um, inventory file. Let me add the specific host to the group that I already defined. So automation controller is ac.example.com and automation EDE controller 
event driven Ansible is edexample.com and I'm using Ansible underscore connection local because this is the current host. On admin password, this is the admin for entering in the uh, automation controller. I'm using Red Hat, that is the favorite one, but you can customize with some more secure. And also PG host, uh, let me define a password for the connection with Postgres. This is for automation controller. Now let's find out the section of even driven automation. Okay, so this is a password of the admin user in the um, in the web UI and let me define the uh, Postgres using acexample.com so acexample.com is a host that will be only an automation controller and edexample.com is an host in my network that will be only the even driven Ansible as you can see I was entering customize some password for uh, uh, the admin user and for the Postgres connection password. Feel free to uh, select a more robust one. Uh, the other part of the file we don't need to alter anyway. So now we can jump, uh, execute the setup shell and uh, the magic began. We just need to grab a cup of coffee or a mug of tea and just relax. The installer is going to uh, follow all the necessary steps, verify that we meet uh, the requirement uh, and we set it up all the AAP as we want. In this case it's going to set up one Ansible automation controller and one even driven Ansible controller. Uh, it's necessary to have one Ansible controller in order to install even driven Ansible. So at least two machine need to be involved in this setup. So under the hood uh, all the installer is installing all the necessary packages and dependency, configuring all the services, verify that the services are actually running, configuring the database uh, and setting up all the user in the system and the necessary CLI tool and to create uh, all the environment, uh, also generating the RSA key, all the security token, and uh, what else? Well, uh, uh, setting up everything, installing Postgres, uh, let me think about, uh, is doing something else more, uh, more interesting. Oh, sure, also setting up the Ansible execution environment that are basically the container that uh, actually execute our automation in both all the Ansible controller and even driven Ansible controller. As you can see by the message on the screen, uh, they are quite helpful if you are curious about. And the best part is that everything is executed with Ansible. So this is giving you an idea also how powerful is Ansible language that is able to create and configure everything from scratch. And this is on the latest uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux that is always a foundation for our automation. Okay, and in a blink of an eye you get uh, this message uh, that say that uh, Ansible Automation Platform is successfully completed. Setup process completed successfully. Yes, and as you can see there are so many actions executed on the Ansible controller and even driven node. So by the end of the day we are good to go. Now we can connect to the web UI and execute our automation script. Okay, from the terminal let's get back to the browser. So let's open Firefox and type the name of the host edexample.com. We get back to the login page, let's connect with the admin user and the password that we decided in the inventory, in my case Red Hat. And let me hit uh, Login, no, I don't want to save a password. And this is the main dashboard, the one that control all the event-driven Ansible. So this is the first access on this uh, UI. So I'm getting, all, as you can see, we get familiarized with all the rule book, rule audit and everything. This is a very insightful tool for our automation. As you can see, the first step is to create a project by also highlighting that we have a, 
a decision environment that is actually a container that we can customize with all the necessary uh, plugin or library. Uh, so we can move forward creating our first rulebook today to execute, uh, to read some sources, activate some rule and execute some action. Now the fun began. Now the sky is the limit and uh, I'm really looking forward to hear your success story. Wow, let's automate more. Have a bright day. We successfully set up even-driven Ansible. Yay!